Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at an off-the-grid, well-built, small travel trailer that also has bunk beds. This is a 2021 Winnebago Micro Mini model 2306 BHS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Micro Mini and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again and welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Towables. It's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer, fifth wheel and toy hauler that we review. And again today I am super excited to be taking a look at this well constructed travel trailer with some off the grid features. I'm super excited to show everybody. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going? It's going good. So I am actually really excited to take a look at this because we just became Winnebago towable dealers. Yes. And um, I think this is our first Winnebago towable we're reviewing. Well, Will, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. Okay. Uh, so as you know, our friend traveling Robert, right. he has a mini Winnie because he's a Winnebago brand ambassador. Right. And Andre and I did review his. Oh, okay. But this is the first time we're reviewing it on this channel. And it's the first time we're reviewing one that's for sale. <laughs> yep. So, well, I'm super excited. Cool. Let's begin. All right. Model is Micro Mini 2306 BHS. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 25 feet 8 inches. The tri weight is 4,500 pounds even. And will that hitch weight? 495 pounds. Perfect. Always remember you want to use weight distribution bars and everything. Right up here, we do have a lipper component power tongue jack. Very nice. Uh, propane tanks go here and your batteries go there. And then look at this. You do not see this on these little travel trailers. This is a molded fiberglass right. front cap. Very nice. A lot more expensive to do, but you know, when you see the quality, you'll, you'll really understand it. Diamond plate rock guard here and Winnebago's three year structural warranty. Coming on down the side here, you do have the lipper component locks, which I love. Slam latch doors with very nice storage underneath. Yep. Yep. There you go. And then check that out. You do have a propane quick connect right there and four point electric, four, elect, four point manual stabilizing jacks right there. Coming on down the side here, we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. All right. Very nice power awning with LED lights, okay? Okay. We do have these crap steps though. Um, we don't like these steps. We much prefer the Moride and Lippert component steps that flip in and out. Those solid steps are a lot nicer, okay? Let's check this out. Three year structural warranty, comfort tech package, and explorer package, okay? When you go on um, Winnebago's website, you'll, you'll be able to see everything that's included with that. But here's what's huge. Winnebago uses Asdale for their sidewall composite. Right. And they've been using it for like five years. Yep. Nobody knew. I As know. any salesperson, nobody knew. Even in their motorhomes they use it, right? Exactly. Nobody knew a thing. They're now advertising Asdale. It's not about, it's not about what you have, it's about what you advertise. You know right. what I'm saying? So Asdale is a green-based material that will never delaminate on you. And I've been yelling at Winnebago for about two years to start putting the sticker on. Like it doesn't make the trailer look worse and it lets people know that, hey, salespeople, we don't know everything. You know what I'm saying? Believe it or not. Right. Right? So it, get, it lets us know, hey, there's Asdale. Right. I actually lost a bet because I didn't think there was Asdale. Right there, you do have a water heater, potable water fill, potable, potable. And look at these off the grid tires. Very nice. Look at these tires, Will. They're the West Lakes. I love those. ST235-75R15, very nice. And it looks like they're like individual axles. Um, yeah, that's kind of yeah. weird. Yeah, very cool. TV on the outside here and a black tank flush. Also speakers on the outside with LED lights. Coming around the back, 
we do have a nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. Outdoor shower and spare tire, spare tire carrier. Very nice. It is prepped for the Voyager backup camera. And we do have a ladder to get up on the roof. Will, let's go up there and take a look. All right. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see there is one air conditioning 30 amp unit. Right there, we are prepped for a Max Air fan. Right there is your King Air digital antenna. And then look at that. It has a solar panel already on the roof. Here we go now. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. One of the RV salesmen is gonna take his fat ass up on the roof. Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up. Satellite hookup, cable hookup, power hookup, everything. More potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Double potable. Right here. I love this. Oh yeah. But quarter bunk beds and it flips up for the storage. That's awesome. Love that feature. Great feature. Love, love, love that feature. Right there, that's where you dump your black and gray tank. Look how elevated this is. Yeah, perfect. It kind of has like a lift, you know? Makes it easier to hook up. Finishing up. It's the other side right here. Of their storage. Well, well, the outside of this trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. All right, so you got the bed up here, small trailer, kind of all in one dining area here, kitchen right there. There's bunks back here and the bathroom right here. Great. Starting up front in the bed? Yep, in the bedroom area. We're bedroom. gonna start right up here. We do have a very nice bed. King bed, not king no, bed. Queen. Queen bed, one piece bed. Not the fold up kind. Nobody right. likes the fold up kind. The one piece kind's definitely better. And then when you're done, you flip it up. There you go. Flip it up with the struts, and that, just like that, very easy to make the sofa. We do have very nice cabinetry beside us. Right there. And a little bit right there. Okay, this is your jackknife, right? A nice, comfortable sofa, you know. A lot of times these jackknives, they're not super comfortable. They made this one very plush, very comfortable, very Good. nice. And then right here, we do have more storage there. Is there storage under you? I think yeah. so. There you go, a couple drawers. Hang on now. Couple drawers underneath. And drawers underneath. And you can tell these drawers are well built. Well, high quality in the smaller sector of trailers, right. which you don't normally see. Yep. Over here is your dinette. Storage underneath there. Raised dinette. Yeah, you know how we feel about those being bigger mm. guys. You know, we're not, I guess I'm okay, but Will, you would definitely hit your yeah. head. This does drop down. We have your windows here. Very neutral balances and everything. Will, sit up there. Okay. Ow, ow. For a race dinette, it doesn't seem terrible. Yeah, I would definitely hit my head. I'm okay sitting here, but getting in and out. Yep, I'll for sure, for sure. And, yeah, that piece right there. What's that? Looks like poking into my fat. This? Yep. At least they rounded it though. I will say sometimes they like- Edge it. Yeah, yeah. And especially with these, you have to be careful with those. Yeah, for sure. And then over here, it's your TV, insignia, DVD player, sound system. Very nice storage above. Very nice cabinetry. I love the woodwork. I love yeah. the feel in here. Oh, look. What? You can charge your phone. Ooh, we love those. Yeah, that's cool. Will, do you know what time it is? It's now time, time for the MSRP. MSRP. Oh, that's so weird. What? Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah. Guess you got to stick around for after the MSRP <laughs> to find out what's weird. MSRP on this travel trailer here is $38,806 MSRP. 
You guys want quality. There's your quality right That's there. Right. Sale prices, you can see there, we don't advertise current model year sale pricing. But, well, I know, we, we even though we just became a Winnebago towable dealers, we sell so many Winnebagos. I know we'll be able to get everybody a fantastic price. And if somebody wants the best price in America, tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmo.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three contact choices. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV, and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this motorhome, not a problem. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours to get you the best price or to answer whatever questions you have. And if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab, and Will. It doesn't matter if somebody's clicking tab three, two, or one. There's one thing that every tab has in common. They're going to get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Well, let's continue the video. All right. All right, guys. So we'll, we'll start with what we were talking about. If you look here at these cabinet doors, they're different from everything else, really. You yeah. Know, right there. Very the different. So it's interesting. Got some storage up top there. Okay. Good size storage. And what's weird is nothing holds this closed. I almost wonder if there was a magnet missing there. Okay. Anyways, got a microwave here, convection microwave because there's no oven. Okay. Then you got a little hood range. Hood range. Range hood, I mean. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I always do that. Um, and a nice backsplash. I like how they did that the whole way around. Let's get this window open window on your campsite let in some natural light yes and some fresh air right there yes you got a three burner suburban yes yeah, suburban cooktop right here yes sir very nice yep. yep Ooh. and then a drawer right here and right here oh no that's okay. just a panel very nice a couple drawers here though sponges drawers more drawers and Oh, just a little oh, access, access panel. panel. That's cool though. Yep. And then underneath there, got some storage. Not and bad. More there. Not bad at all. And you do have, so no solid surface countertops. You know, again, it's a smaller, lightweight trailer, but you do have a little flip up extra counter space there. Just in case you need more counter space. That's right. And then right here, you do have a two way Dometic fridge, works off of both propane or electric. Very nice. I think that's it, right? Cool, it's now time for the tall test. All right. See if you can fit in that shower. Oh, hang on a second. There we go, that's some storage oh, right there. Nice. Radius so shower. Radius shower. Womp, womp. And it's stuck. There we go. If it's up, then it's stuck. Yeah, this is actually really tight too. I can't pass this at all. My head's mm -hmm. hitting. It's really tight your this way. Your hitting, your butt's yeah, hitting, everything. everything. Yep. I get it. Me too, Will. Me too. <laughs> we got storage there. More storage here. Medicine cabinet right here. Okay. The little sink. Storage underneath. Now time for the toilet test. Why don't you come yeah. on out? Yeah. We got a maneuver around here. <laughs> I think it's plastic. I know it's plastic. Wow. You know why? Because they put plastic in their um motorhomes? Yeah. Wow. Plastic. Wamp. Wamp. I feel like it wouldn't be good anyways. No, it's not that great. Um, just not a prime boom position. And I'm not mad at like for a small trailer and you got bunks and I uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't even know how to feel. Okay. <laughs> and then over here is the corner bunk beds. Um, you have the one right here, the lower one down there, 250. I don't know if we should do it. Uh, we're doing it. Uh oh. You hear it cracking? It's not cracking. It sure is cracking. <laughs> <laughs> this is the lower bunk. Plenty of space for me. You could probably be 5'10 and still be real comfortable in here. No, probably 6 foot and still be comfortable. Very nice. It does say evenly distribute that 250. <laughs> well, well, that's it. That's the review. That's the mini Winnie or micro mini. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this travel trailer. 
three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like. Yes, I'm okay. gonna go first. Okay. Um, I love this Murphy bed setup. Okay. I think it's nice. I think it was easy to set up. I think it was a comfortable bed. Um, this is a comfortable sofa area, and it's just one solid mattress. Yep. Which I do love. Yep. That's number one. Number two. Am I gonna steal yours if I talk about the box? No, it's okay. okay. All right, I really like the whole bunk setup. Again, this is a small trailer, but it's to get you off the ground at night. You know, yep. you're going out during the day. You just need a place to cook and clean and sleep. So I love that you have the bunk room there for the kids. Yep. Even though how small it is, and I love the flip up. To that flip you up that storage. Extra storage. storage. Number three, I'm gonna say this is surprisingly really good countertop. It is. Right? Yeah. Um, but number three has to be the off the grid look, the off road tires. This is what people are looking for, the Explorer package. It's cool, it's badass, it's nice, and this is what the market wants, and that's what Winnebago's giving you. That's right. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this travel trailer. You okay. ready for me to go first? Sure. These steps. Yeah, come on now. What are, th what are these? <laughs> we hate these steps, these steps are stupid. No offense, lipper component, solid steps, or the more ride step above steps, or whatever they're called. Solid steps are better than these steps. That's right. 100,000%. 100, That's number one dislike. Okay. Number two. Number two, I'll have to go with the bathroom. Okay. There, you know, for it, if somebody bigger, it's just not usable at all. Okay. I don't mind, you know, even if something doesn't pass. We don't mind the radius shower if you have enough headspace. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's just like... Overall, it's just so much of it's unusable for me, at least. Okay. So. No, not a problem. All right. That's number two. And then, Will, you're doing number three as well. Okay. Number three, you guys know we hate these. It's elevated. Yep. It's weird. It's awkward. It's short headspace. So, I don't know why they raise it. I'm I think I do know. I think because, like, the lift kit and the off-road package or whatever. Or, Maybe like... you see this even without it. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? I think it has something to do with the slide mechanism, but they need to figure out a way to make it better make it better yep that's the only thing we can say that's right. and again it's one of those things which is funny this might be the best type of slide out system it's just something that we yeah. we would take the crappier slide out system right. for the better seating area well well that's it that's the review thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching if you guys have any questions about this uh this travel trailer please call text send us an email it is mets rv reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 that's my personal cell or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs if you want to see our friend traveling robert's travel trailer that we reviewed we will put that video up here and if you want to see another smaller travel trailer we'll put what this micro mini competes with right down there will is there anything you'd like to say of course all right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Um, Winnebago does watch the videos and definitely uh, enjoys your feedback. So make sure to let them know and smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And we'll, we'll see you next time.